Hi everyone, welcome to a new devlog of my game Whole Intents, an open world game driven by a twisted story spiced with RPG ingredients. In this episode, we'll see how I have created the open world in World Creator and Unreal 5, and the first building I have started working on. So let's get started! Until recently, I was working with Unreal for 27, and I have decided to do the open world test with Unreal 5. Although the improvements are remarkable, I experienced too many crashes that make working with the new version very frustrating. So we'll see if I decide to develop the whole project in such an unstable version. For the open world, I'm working with War Creator, and the truth is it has impressed me very positively, especially after the update to the new version 2022. The terrain is very easy to sculpt and modify at will. And with the use of different filters, you get very realistic and credible results in a very short time. The integration with Unreal is very easy, both manually and using the bridge. World Creator has support for Unity too, and in fact for any 3D tool. A little in the description if you want to take a look. The world is designed in my GDD, and it's strongly linked to the story, which I think helps a lot, because creating a world from scratch is something that seems easy, but in reality is very overwhelming. So having the story written is a perfect starting point. My workflow is to import the terrain into Unreal early on, so I can test in real time the sizes and distances and see if the world feels right in the game. In my case, I don't want to make the world too big because what I'm interested in is the world is populated and there are always interesting encounters and things to do. So with that in mind, to get a sense of how big the terrain was, it took the player from end to end around 10 minutes, which once the terrain is done will be more due to natural obstacles such as forests, rivers, etc. Once in Unreal, I can see the world from the player's point of view, and I'm making adjustments in World Creator, and then iterating until I'm happy. On the other hand, I'm using Brushify to texture the world. It's a very useful tool that comes with a landscape material for different biomes, vegetation, and some meshes to create a stunning landscape quickly. In a few minutes, you can have a very good looking world. I totally recommend it. I'll leave the link in the description in case you are interested. On the other hand, I also started to create my own trees. In this case, some pine trees with very long and wide trunks. The Brushify vegetation is great, and I will use grass, rock, and some other stuff. But the world I want to create has its own personality and is defined by very different areas with very specific vegetation that has to be custom made. For all my models, I use Blender as a 3D tool. Here you can see the pine tree with some variations. Finally, I have started to design some buildings, in particular Lupus House. This house is not only the starting point of the game, but it's where some relevant events for the story take place. So the exterior and interior design of the house are very important. Similar to the terrain, I bring the house to Unreal soon to evaluate the dimensions and especially how it feels once we get inside. This initial block out is very important because it allows me to iterate from Blender to Unreal quickly to establish the proper dimensions and make sure the camera moves comfortably in an enclosed environment. Once the dimensions are correct, I'll move on to adding more details, props like a table, bed, kitchen, etc. and textures, but this is content for the next week. So until then, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.